Um, my name is Alan Bernstein. Mon nom est Alan Bernstein. I have the uh, distinct honor and pleasure of being the president and the CEO of CIFAR. Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Bonjour à tout le monde. Uh, welcome and thank you for coming to the annual David Dodge Lecture. Today's lecture uh, is by the distinguished economist Daron Asamoglu uh, on entitled AI Robotics and the Future of Work. So if you're here for the, uh, the other lecture going on at the Canadian Club, you can get up now and free up a seat. So. Okay. I think there's probably uh, no topic in science uh, that is as much in the public's eye as artificial intelligence. Uh, here in Canada, uh, by far the most powerful form of AI uh, an, is an entirely made in Canada uh, discovery. Uh, Jeff Hinton from Google and the University of Toronto, Jan LeCun from NYU and Facebook, um, and Joshua Benjo at the Université de Montréal um, have worked together under the auspices of CIFAR, uh, of a CIFAR program now called Learning and Machines and Brains. And they are the acknowledged sort of forefathers or grandfathers of deep learning or uh, deep learning AI, the most powerful form of AI, as I said. Um, because of CIFAR's, uh, I think, historic role in the development of deep learning, the budget uh, for this, the federal budget 2017, included a $125 million allocation to CIFAR to develop a new program in, in AI designed to position and strengthen Canada as a global leader in the science uh, training uh, in artificial intelligence uh, and to address the broad implications of AI for society. Uh, Daniel Dennett, one of the world's great philosophers um, and a CIFAR advisor to a, a program, another CIFAR program called Brain, Mind and Consciousness, um, wrote in his, about AI in his new book, From Bacteria to Bach and Back Again, and I quote, I'm not worried about humanity creating a race of super intelligent agents destined to destroy us. But that does not mean I'm not worried, unquote. I, I, you know, I have a little game I play. Not a day goes by when there isn't a major article in the media uh, about AI. And so it's sort of an unusual day when AI is crowded out by Senate testimonies or something. Um, and so, uh, and I think it speaks to the public's great interest in this topic, and I don't think the public is misplaced uh, in their interest. Um, and AI, of course, has huge implications across almost everything or everything. Um, and so uh, where everything includes things like smart cars, banking, uh, medicine, law, advanced manufacturing, disruption of the labor force, and the nature of work uh, itself. Certainly over the course of my own scientific career, uh, I think there are few technologies have come along that has captured the public's attention uh, with the equivalent uh, disruptive potential as artificial intelligence. That disruption always comes with significant societal challenges and opportunities. Uh, and as part of our new AI program, we are establishing a new initiative called AI in Society that will bring together some of the world's leading thinkers in this area, social scientists, human, humanists, and scientists to engage in long-term, deeply collaborative discussions with each other, with governments, and with civil society. Indeed, I think today's address by Daron can be regarded as a launch of, of our program in this area. CIFAR senior fellow Daron Asamoglu has been examining some of these issues and will be sharing them with us uh, all today. But first, let me say a few words about David Dodge. Actually, David is somebody who truly needs no introduction, especially in this town. Uh, he is a giant, both liter literally and figuratively, and, and I think it would be redundant for me to say more about David in Ottawa. Uh, this lecture series is named after David to rec recognize his enormous legacy of contributions, uh, both to CIFAR and to the country. Um, and as a supporter and board member and board chair uh, uh, here at CIFAR. Uh, David's interest in CIFAR actually, I think, began with um, one of our other programs on the importance of the early years 
um, and children and now called child and brain development. And I think, again, it typifies, I think, what is really the, the best about CIFAR, which is that it brings together great people from around the world, including Canada, to uh, really make breakthrough knowledge, uh, create uh, breakthrough knowledge around an important issue and to uh, increase the impact of that knowledge on society. And so I think it's fair to say that one of the reasons we have maternity leave in this country and all day kindergartens is because of that early program on the importance of the early years and David's own involvement uh, in that program and with CIFAR more broadly. David remains an active member of CIFAR's board and I'm very pleased that he's here with us uh, today. Uh, I'd also like to recognize the other members of CIFAR's board who are with us today. Our chair, Barb Steinmetz, uh, Pierre Ducrot, Brenda Eaton, Morton Fries, Anne McClellan, Pat Meredith, Ruth Mitchell, and Lawrence Pentland. And I'm blessed with having uh, a fabulous board, uh, some of whom, as I said, are here with us today. I'd also like to thank uh, Meredith Hariri, the president and CEO of the Canadian Science Policy Conference, our partner in presenting this lecture today. And finally, I'd like to thank the Government of Canada for their ongoing and long-term support through ICED for CIFAR, represented here uh, today by John Nubley, the Deputy Minister at ICED. We are very grateful for that support, uh, and through that support for the government's, I think, explicit recognition of the role that global research plays in addressing the serious challenges and opportunities facing our world, and by supporting CIFAR by truly positioning Canada as a leader on the world stage. And now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Daron Asamoglu. Daron is a senior fellow in CIFAR's program in institutions, organizations, and growth. He holds the Elizabeth and James Killian Professor of Economics at the Massachusetts Institutes of Technology. He is the co-author with James Robinson of the highly influential book why Nations Fail, The Origins of Power, Prosperity, and Poverty. He is a fellow of the U.S. National Academy of Science, the American Academy of Arts and Science, and of the American Econometric Society. He is a re recipient of uh, numerous awards, but I won't list them all, uh, but I'll just note two. Uh, one is the John Bates Clark Medal from the American Economics Association, a very prestigious award. Um, and he will be receiving uh, one reason he has to leave right after this lecture is he has to fly to Madrid <coughs> to receive the very prestigious BBVA award in Madrid, Spain. Uh, today he will uh, uh, speak to us about AI, robotics, and the future of work. Daron.